He was a working class horse that was about to take on the likes of the best and did it for a tenner a week. We were a tight-knit community, as most mining communities are. Once a pit shut, you can forget it. When I look back now, I don't know how I did it. She said, I'm going to breed a racehorse. I said, don't talk stupid. I don't know nothing about horses. <laughs> I don't. All I knew was going to the betting shop, put money down, and lose. <laughs> <laughs> These sort of people. And here we have trainers, lords, dukes. They like to keep us commoners out. <laughs> but I wasn't having any of it. The syndicate came together for one simple reason. They wanted to see if it could work. John said, we're all in an alliance. This is our dream. We need my dream alliance. This horse was bred and brought up on an allotment. How can that possibly be a success? And they are off. My heart was pounding. Come on, Dream. Three quarters of a mile out, there was only going to be one winner. Dream Alliance wins it. This horse, he was really making a name for himself. Dream and the world at his feet. See, Dream Alliance has gone. Dream Alliance has gone. The favourite is on the deck. I said, if there's any chance that he can survive this, we don't care whether he can race again. You've got to keep him alive. If that horse only had three legs, we would have him. To us, he was like one of the family. He enriched a lot of lives. It's elation when you can do something when no one gives you a chance. I'm so proud to be part of that. It was something coming out of the village, doing good. And that's something special.